Hi, this CAD Masters video tutorial will give you an overview of how to use annotative objects in AutoCAD. Using the annotative feature, drafters can create dimensions, text, blocks, multiliters, or hatches uh, that come out at the right scale when plotted um, or viewed in paper space. In this video, I'll concentrate on uh, annotative dimensions but all these principles you'll see can be used in those other objects I just named as well. You can see here that I've got two viewports displaying the same object at different scales. Annotative objects can be used um, to show dimensions only at certain scales, um, only in certain views. They're also created in model space, whether it be my model tab or floating model space in a layout. So using an annotative dimension style, I will go ahead and add a radial dimension. Uh, I'm going to make this viewport active first, and then I'll add a radial dimension to this small circle. Now you can see that this dimension actually showed up in both of my viewports, and that's because I have toggled on in my status bar this button that says Annotation Visibility. So if I were to turn that off now, I'll see that really this object was only created in my 2 to 1 viewport was also automatically created um, with a text paper height of 0.18 inches which is set in my dimension style. So if I go into this other viewport, create another radial dimension, maybe to the center line of these circles, I'll see that this only shows up in this one viewport as well. And although these two viewports are at different scales, my text height, when I look at it in a layout, is the same. So when I plot this, both my 3.5 radius and my 0.18 radius are going to look the same on paper. Because I created each of these dimensions in a viewport, the dimension took the scale from that viewport. However, I can also add manually scales to each of these objects. For instance, if I wanted my um, smaller radius of 0.18 to display in both viewports, I can manually add a 1 to 2 scale to that object and it'll display in my upper left viewport as well. So an easy way to do that, what I'll do is I'll turn on visibility again. So now I can see that object in both viewports. I'll select it in the viewport I want to bring it into, right click, and say annotative object scale, add current scale. So now this one single dimension object exists at two different scales and therefore displays in both of my viewports. Each scale for the object kind of has its own controls though, so I can actually select um, the object in this viewport and I can move it, just for clarification. And you'll see that it only moves in the one viewport, and that's because uh, each scale kind of acts independently. Now let's take a look at creating these annotative objects um, on our model tab. So back on my model tab, I'll see both of my objects I created. And that's only because I have visibility turned on. If I turn it off right now, they'll both disappear. And that's because you'll see in my status bar that I'm actually at an annotation scale of 1 to 1. And neither of my objects have been created for annotation scales of 1 to 1. If I switch this scale to one of the scales I did use, like 1 to 2, I should see the objects that were created at that scale. Again, if I change it to 2 to 1, my other scale, I'll see just that object. If I switch back to 1 to 1, turn on visibility again, I want to show you that if I select the object that's created for two different scales, the uh, smaller dimension, as I select it, um, the dimension appears at both scales. And that just kind of lets me know that I have uh, this object created at multiple scales. And whichever one um, I have current displaying, you can see I have grips on. And I can actually move that one. So let me talk a little bit more about how you can add um, scales to these annotative objects. One way I can do it is to choose a new scale, say 1 to 4. I can, this is how you saw it earlier, I can select an object, right click, go to Annotative Object Scale, and say Add Current Scale. I can also add a scale by toggling a button down in my status bar that says Automatically Add Scales. It's right next to the Scale Visibility button. If I turn that on, 
as I use my scale list, I choose a new scale, um, it's automatically going to add scales for all my annotative objects. So if I say 1 to 50, you can see I get uh, a new scale for each object. Switch back to 1 to 4. Okay, so now it's added uh, a 1 to 4 scale to both of my objects. This can be a little dangerous because if you're switching through scales and you're just checking to see um, what annotation scale you're going to want to use, um, you're creating new um, scales for each object every time you switch. So I would recommend not using um, automatically add unless you know exactly what scale it is you're going to choose. So I'll go ahead and turn that back off. I'll also turn off visibility for now. And the third way that I can add a scale to an object or remove a scale is if I select the object and I right click, I go to annotative object scale, um, I can say add delete scales. And that'll bring up this annotation object scale window. And that shows me all the scales that I currently have available for this object. You can see we have 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 which are from the beginning and then just now I created a 1 to 4 and 1 to 50. So first let's delete both the 1 to 4 and 1 to 50. This is how you'll get rid of scales on objects if you don't need them. And let's see what it looks like to add a scale uh, through this window. I'll just click on add and then I have a whole list of scales here and uh, I can choose any one of them I want and it'll add that scale to my object. So what this means is that I can use a viewport in paper space to display this object at a 1 to 2 scale, a 2 to 1 scale, or a 3 quarter inch equals 1 foot scale. And if I do display this object in any of those viewports, um, it's always going to appear at a 1 inch, 1 eighth of an inch height when I plot it out or uh, view it in my layout. So again, all you really need to do to get an annotative object to work correctly is uh, create the object, and then you're going to want to choose your scales that you're going to plot at. So you're going to need a layout and you're going to need viewports such as I have here. So I'm going to use both a 1 to 2 and a 2 to 1 scale. Then I just take the object um, and I add my scales to them. So if I want it to display in both of my viewports, I would add both scales. As you can see with my smaller dimension, my 0.18 dimension. If I want it to display in only one viewport, as the R3.5 dimension does, I just add um, that one scale to the dimension. So in other words, if I look at this scale, um, if I look at its scales, I'll see that I do not have 2 to 1 and that's why it doesn't display in my second viewport. And again, this is the case. Um, you can do this with dimensions, text, blocks, multi-leaders, and hatches. You just need to use the appropriate style and annotative style and understand what you're doing and it should help you to plot everything consistently at the right height without doing any calculations. Thanks for watching this video by CAD Masters. Uh, look at some of others and see if they can help you with anything else. Thanks.